Hey guys, welcome back to some more Breath of the Wild. I'm joined, as always, by Shane and our heroic anime hero, Link. And uh, we get to fight... Well, we get to do all the rest of the stuff leading up to Varudania today, don't we? Yeah, we're not <laughs> yeah. We're not ready to fight... Um, oh, yeah, there he is. I was about to say, he's yet. not there! No, there he is, that guy. <laughs> well, he curls right. around all the time, so yeah. he may not be there sometimes. We would have just had to wait. Hey, stop that! That's boss's cannon! Don't you dare touch that lever! Uh, but I really want to. Then go for it. Let's drop that there, <laughs> and I think I just hit the hammer on that lever, right? Yep. Oh, that, I forgot, that's not what fires it, it just turns it. Uh, so let's turn that back the other way, because I think we've got to, like, launch this across to some rocks somewhere, right? Oh, maybe. Oh, it only has two <laughs> directions. All right, I thought I had three. Let's go back again. No, stop, stop. Okay, I hit it too many times. Okay. Let's get that to there. And then detonate. Detonate. That button. There we go. That did nothing. You're right. You're absolutely right. But you'll notice you already hit it once. What do you mean I already hit it once? There was a place there, I believe. Okay, so note to self, one thing is not does not qualify as enough. At least not in this area. So... For now, we'll just do the two. The, but, but it doesn't look cool anymore. I know. But the thing is... Oh, shit! Run, 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 run! Oh, God, thank you, Mifa! Fuck. Um, Great start. Yeah. So the thing is, it's because you're above open lava. Yeah. This will be, the, I believe, the only area where you would have to have two pieces. Aren't we, like, aren't we above open lava for, like, the entire fight on Varudania, though? Because we're in the center of the volcano. Yes. But you're inside the machine. Well, yeah, but the machine, I don't think, is fireproof. I mean, not, like, to that extent. Yes, it is. It's, it's fireproof, it's not cooled, it doesn't have a cooled interior. You don't see Gorons going into lava. Alright, well I don't want to change the outfit, because this is our hero's outfit, so I'm going to get some fire potions. <laughs> we, I, we've already decided this is the Link hero's clothe, clothing, it is not enough, but we're going to stick with it. Fair so, uh, where did I buy some Goron potions? Oh, from the little brat, right? The little brat. Yeah, the little Goron brat. Yeah. When he's rolling around here somewhere. There's just one problem, he's going to charge you rupees. I don't have any money, do I? Nope. Two rupees. I do <laughs> not have any money. So let's see what we can sell to whoever. Uh, will you buy anything for me? From me? No, he just talks about throwing it on there. Uh, right, right. Okay, so not you. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> he does buy stuff. He lied to me. <laughs> I did. Okay, let's see. Is there anything? Actually, I should probably see how much the potions cost before I just start randomly selling stuff. <laughs> that, would be, that would be the smart thing to do. So you come here, you little brat. You little roller. Da, 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 right there. Okay. Yes. I probably do. Okay. Five people are a special price for only 60 rupees. Okay. So we need 60 rupees for one, and they last like, what, six minutes? For one. Man. Uh, that lady down at the bottom, though, she sells them for cheaper, doesn't she? I think so. They were like three for 120 or something? Yeah. She's down here. Next and, to this yeah, thing. Yeah, the stables. Made it all the way to Gordon City just to turn around and go back. But. <laughs> Fuck this place. But. I bet. You'll have. Uh, you'll be able to sell there. Probably, yeah. I'm going to be able to do something. Did you have price. any left? Did we check that? I don't think we did, although I'm pretty sure we used all three. <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah, great start. Great start. We don't know what we're getting. We don't know how many we're getting. We don't know the cost. Yeah. We don't even know how many we already have. We just know that what we thought was not enough. We're just guessing. I mean, that's the way this works, right? That's just the entirety of this game. Just yeah. guess until you get it right. Yep. If you ever get lost, just look at the compass, choose a direction, and go that way until you die. Then pick another direction and try again. Eventually, you'll be the game. That's how I live my life. Uh, so let's see. I just look at the compass and pick a direction and go till I die. And then pick another direction. Okay, yeah, no, we are completely out. Awesome. Oh, that is so his room. Wow, he is extremely close to these people. Yeah. But it's okay. They're co-inhabitants of this area. They just, they just trade with him. He, he does all the cooling for their food. You might want to check the prices. All right. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that would be the smart thing to do. Okay. 
at least three elixirs with him. It's 60 rupees for one. Now she does, oh, I guess she does cheaper in the long run, because it's 150 for three. Yeah, which you said we need to buy as many as yeah, we can. Yeah, we need to so, buy as many as we can. So you might try for 300 and get six? Probably, yeah. That'd be yeah. the smart, that'd be a, not, I keep saying that phrase. That'd be the smart thing to do. That'd be the smart thing to do. That's free and free. going to do that, yeah. Uh, da, 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 I don't know. Have we met Beetle before yet? I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know if we've met him on the recording. Either way, I'm skipping through everything he said. So okay. hopefully we've met him already and you guys know what he said. Because he's going to buy from us. Yep. Let's see. Meat for eight. Anything we've got? A lot of... We've got wood for two. Oh, okay. These sell for a decent amount. So we can rid of them. Yeah, okay. Get, get rid of it. And then those, all of those. Okay, we'll see you guys in just a sec. We've sold 80. a bunch of stuff. Yeah. All right, there we go. Now I've got enough money to not only get six, but to actually get nine, because who knows how long we may actually be here. Yeah. And we're going to need as many as we can get. Yeah, and he doesn't want to backtrack all the way down. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to come back down again. And again. And again. Okay, there's three. You know three what? I'm going to love those. Oh, so there's six minutes. We've got 18 minutes there. Just for those three there. So that's whatever 18 times three is. You'd have almost an hour. You'd have six minutes less than an hour. All right. So we have enough for this entire recording, guys. <laughs> so we, I guess we'll know how far we're going to make it. Yep. Just see how much we can do. I mean, I guess that also depends on how long we're actually in fire. Mm. All the dangerous zones. Yes. Uh, did, I, did I hit the wrong thing? I think I just hit the wrong thing. No, I didn't. Okay. Yeah. I think I did take three. Hopefully yeah. I did take three. Otherwise I fucked up. No, you took them. There we go, okay. We've got nine fireproof elixirs. You took three of them. Yep, we got nine, okay. All Back right. up we go. All right, so let's drink us one of these and start what we have calculated out with Shane's accurate math and my not so accurate math <laughs> as being 55 and a half minutes of fireproofness. Yes. I love how he drinks. When he drinks, there's nothing there. Yeah, he just throws the whole bottle back. And it's not even in his. Ow! All right. Well, you what have the hell eight kind of shot. Now. Was that? That was hard mode shots. That was impressive. <laughs> okay, he, he, someone's taking lessons from the Lionel. Oh, oh god, I'm gonna man. die. I'm not even gonna make it. I'm gonna bloody die. That didn't even hit me. Okay, that one did <laughs> not even hit me. I swear to God, that one didn't hit me. I don't know. I didn't even see the arrow. I, I'm showing a freeze frame slow motion. <laughs> that one did not hit me. Fair enough. That was a bullshit death. I, all I saw was you catch on fire. Oh my god. <laughs> it's dangerous to approach enemies head on. When I wasn't! I was running for my life! <laughs> Stop taunting me, Tips, you're wrong! Now, see if you have the nine again. I should. I can hope I do. You should. I believe it goes back to a save point, not just a. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Do I still have the timer? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I've got all nine again. Okay, there we go. So I didn't, I didn't use one and then start the timer and lose it. Yeah. Oh. Buzz off. I'm not going for the thing. Okay, now do we have any arrows that I can shoot these guys with? We have ice arrows. Are they going to reach? Actually, no. I'm going to glide first and then use them. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if I can outmaneuver this guy. But okay. see, if you fly to your right, there's a cannon over there. Okay, there we go. Um, fuck, 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 fuck. Ooh, shit. Back off, I don't want to get shot again. Okay, um. Uh. Drop. Detonate. Yes, okay, we got him. Let's do that. Get another one, get another one, get another one. Once the timer <laughs> comes out, drop it. And fire. And fire. Because <laughs> I, I hit the wrong thing the first time. Okay, there we go. Alright. Now so we, we gotta keep our forward. eye out for the the cannons. Yeah, we gotta watch out for the Lizolfos as well, because apparently these guys can aim. Yeah. Now we're supposed to blow those up. Uh, I'm pretty sure those are the rock things I'm supposed to be blowing up, but I just didn't. Ooh, maybe on occasion. Strengthened Lizol bow. Nice. You can always use a better bow. It's and better some fire bow. arrows. Now that is very useful. And this you is useful for being able to buy more it. potions. And yes, I totally did. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part of the video, right there. Every video is every time I miss and look like an imbecile. <laughs> and just fly off and die. Twice. Okay, um, ooh. All right, all right. We, I forgot we activated that shrine yet the other day, and then yep. we're going to like wait to come back and do a bunch of shrines at once. Yeah. Okay, so let's do there and shoot you, right? Yep. 
Yes. Oh, it blew up the skull. Nice. <laughs> I honestly never did this when I came through. Like, I just went around and, like, snuck through everything. You basically just ran for yeah. your life yeah, all the time. Yeah, pretty much. That was, that was the whole endeavor. Man. And a chest, too. Sweet. Doing things the way they intend can be very rewarding at times. Yes, it can also have me die twice for completely yeah. bullshit reasons. And at other times, doing things the way that they don't intend can have some pretty impressive things as well. And honestly, like, doing that can also have me die for bullshit reasons. Like making it to Ganon <laughs> yeah. in hard mode. <laughs> that was ridiculous. I still can't believe you... Alright, oh, i got to blow them in game. <laughs> still can't believe you did that. Oh, that was that was the best thing ever. It was it was amazing. <laughs> I can't believe I did it. You're the one who showed me how to climb those things. Yeah. And uh, then I took one that you tried to climb but couldn't and <laughs> climbed it almost uh, to the top. Accidental professional. Right. Oh. Of course. Not. Still couldn't beat Ganon. Yeah. I wish. <laughs> There we go. Here's this guy. Scared to go around. Yep. So I gotta say, of all of the, okay, out of, out of the four heroes or champions. Well, champions related. No, 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 no. First off, just out of the four champions, okay. who's your favorite? Who was my favorite? Yes. Hmm. You got Mifa. Um. I like the uh, bird. What was his name? Um, it started with an R. Yeah. What am I gonna do? Monsters! They're here! They found me! Help! Huh? You know, Bo, go on use. Impressive narrator. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. And uh, before I talk to you, just gonna take all the good stuff, like the combo crusher that I apparently can't carry anymore because I've got all my melee weapons, ice arrows, hopefully more ice arrows, right? Okay, purple ruby, that works too. I need money. I seriously need money. I'm like begging <laughs> for begging for anything I can find levels of core right now. So who is your favorite? My favorite, um, out of the original champions, I'm stuck between... You know what? No, I think my favorite was the Goron champion, whose name I've forgotten at the moment. Right. Um, what's the name of the ability? That'll, that'll give it away. Because there's Mipha's Grace. Daruk's Protection. Daruk's Protection. Daruk, I love. Daruk so was my was favorite. Revali's Gale. Revali's Gale, that's right. Yeah. We had to remember. The, we couldn't remember their names, we had to remember their abilities. <laughs> wow. That's kind of sad. And you know, with both. Oh, just... shit, fuck! <laughs> Don't drop a torch in the fireplace, guys! Well, I mean, in the fire zone, because it's it was on the also fireplace. A, a wooden weapon. Yeah, it's still yeah. caught fire and burned me. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. So what was now that I've gotten a good look. So? Whoa, it's a Hylian. Were you the what? The Urbosa. Third one. Urbosa. Okay. Yeah, Urbosa's. Uh, hey, Gary. I like her too, but I just like her volley the best. Were you the one who broke through that crag to rescue me, Goro? Thanks, brother. Well, what brought you all the way out here to begin with? Looking for Yunobo. Oh, so that's it. Boss told you to come find me. Oh. Whew, thank goodness. In any case, I sure am glad you saved me, Goro. I really, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm just gonna say it now. Out of the new generation people, this one is my least favorite. I can't stand him. Yeah, he's annoying. The name's Yunobo. Everyone calls me Yunobo. Makes sense, Goro. I think you like, uh, Sidon. Sidon, yes. Sidon is my Especially favorite. Especially with your your new voice for him. I, I wonder if I can just do his voice like Sidon's. I came to get some painkillers for boss, but a magma bomb caused a rock slide, sealing the entrance, Goro. By the way... How did you break those rocks at the entrance, Goro? With a cannon! Huh? You used Boss's cannon? That thing is so difficult to use. I thought only Boss could handle it. See, it's much more entertaining to speak like Sidon. Fair enough. Oops, I nearly forgot. This isn't the time to chat. I need to deliver these painkillers oh. as soon as possible. Sorry, I've got to run. But do come by and see the Boss later, okay? He may be gruff, but he always repays a favor. I'm sure there's a reward, re reward in it for you. Okay, then. Goodbye for now, Goro. Hey, I just couldn't stand him. His voice was annoying. He was... Yeah. I feel I felt like he was the comedic relief for children, which I mean I get it. I'm an adult. I'm not gonna enjoy the children oriented entertainment like I would whenever I was a kid. But yeah, sometimes it just feels a little too s low over standards or over the top. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've grown up with Zelda. I, I can handle some kiddish moments because this game is you know got some cute kiddish moments. Good luck. And then there's people like Yonobo who just 
almost tick me off that they're in the game. I'm not here, guys. Don't worry. Nothing here. Uh. Apparently that worked. Apparently that worked! Target the other one! The one is not in the lava. But these are fire ones. They I'm survive aware. in the lava. How do you do that? Oh, I know. There we go. Nice. Um, no, my favorite was Sedan as well. Um, what out were the other of the two? The ones. two modern day ones. Well, the thing is, actually, I really liked the princess in the in the desert. Oh, the, yeah, the princess in the desert. I don't remember yeah. her name though. I don't either. In in the princess in the desert and the young bird Rito guy from the Rivales area, they were they didn't really interact with you as much as Yonobo and Sedan did. Well, the one in the desert kind of does. Well, on the ride to fight the thing, but other than that, it's well, just her just... sitting around while you talk to her. Just hide here for a minute. Um, but the Rito one, I don't even really, uh, consider him to be part of it. I know, right? Because he, he wasn't really, I think, think of him as a champion. He wasn't related, nothing. It was just, he was planning on going to fight the bird. Yeah. Because, I mean, I remember talking to him when he's injured in the place. Then I remember talking to him when he's at the training grounds. Uh Uh-huh. And then suddenly you're fighting the bird. I never noticed that. What? There's a bomb spot over there. Where? Oh, there is. Hmm. No way I can do it. <laughs> We're like, hmm, how did we do this? It's too dangerous, not happening. <laughs> and where am I supposed to go over this way?